good morning so today i fancy doing something a little bit different and doing a village walk um so the village is doon which is between sterling and calendar um i, I happen to actually drive through it probably hundreds of times by now um i've only ever stopped once um, and that one time that I did stop, I had a lovely little walk um, just around some woodlands on the outskirts of the village. So today I thought I might actually explore a bit more of the village. Um, I'm going to start by walking up the river here, um, through the woodland, um, and then probably into the village a little bit. I haven't got a set route planned, I'm just going to sort of wander and see where I end up. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see like the main street of the village, see what's going on there. Um, and then... And then um, on the other side, on Google Maps, I saw like a weird shape. Um, um, so I'm probably going to like, head that direction and see if there's anything obvious there and what that is. Um, and then near to that, there's a castle. Um, actually quite a famous castle. Um, it's been in Game of Thrones, Outlander, Monty Python, I think. Um, I've seen it like on the road. I've seen it through the trees, but never actually stopped to see the castle light in person. Um, I think you have to pay to actually go into the castle, which I'm not going to do today, but I think you can walk around like the grounds a little bit. Um, so I'll be doing that towards the end of the walk. Um, so yeah, should be quite good. Um, probably only going to do a couple of miles. Um, but yeah, nice to have a little bimble and not do anything too strenuous. I've also brought my big camera lens with me this time, because um, I'm not doing very many miles. Um, I expect there's probably quite a lot of wildlife around here. I know like, on the outskirts of the village on the other side, there is a wildlife centre where they actually feed red kites. And also they've just released beavers, well, just like a year or two ago now. Um, obviously I'm not going to see a beaver, but like there is quite a lot of wildlife. I mean, like, there's literally a robin just sitting here. So yeah, got my big lens. So there's going to be a lot of sitting down, looking at wildlife and maybe some snowdrops. So this path I'm taking, it's actually running alongside the River Teeth, which I actually think is a really good name for a river. <laughs> um, I'm actually just going to follow this for a little way. Um, there's a distillery on the other side of the river. I think I'm just going to like walk as far as that. And then I'm going to cut back towards Dune Village. <laughs> so I'm just going to apologise for the noise a little bit in this video. Um, the mics I have on my cameras are pretty powerful and there's quite a busy road that runs through Dean Village um, it's the A84 up to Creolaric um, so yeah my mics are definitely going to be picking up all the road noise and probably exaggerating it because that's what they like to do um, so yeah there's probably going to be a lot of music overlay and stuff but it is in person actually very peaceful and <laughs> nice <laughs> So that building there through the trees, uh, that's Deanston Whiskey Distillery. It doesn't look like that much from this side of the river, but um, you can definitely smell it. Um, it smells very, very Scottish where I'm standing right now. <laughs> um, like whiskey and mud and river. If you've got all those three together, that's what exactly I'm smelling now. <laughs> it's really good. There's also something else through the trees. That thing there. I believe they call it the sun. So 
I don't actually drink alcohol, so I've never really been that excited about whiskey. Um, but at Christmas, um, I was bought some cheese with whiskey in it, and I very much like that. Um, so I'm suddenly quite interested in the whole whiskey thing, but it has to be in cheese. And I have to say, what I'm smelling from here, delicious. <laughs> so yeah, the walk I'm on. Um, this is me done, the river section. Uh, there's not actually been that much to see. It's just a few minutes down the river. Um, I'm actually just going to make my way up through these trees here. There's not really a path. Um, but I know there's a path up there somewhere. Um, I'll turn you around. <laughs> yeah, up that bank. There's a footpath, so I've just got to get up to there, and then I'm gonna go that way, right? I lied, there is a path. So it looks like the path goes down that way. Um, I think I'm gonna come back another day and follow that. I think it actually goes like way towards calendar and then background. Um, so it sounds like a good walk for another day. Um, I'm actually quite out of breath from walking up the hill. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. Really nice this time of year to see all the nests and trees. I like to play a little game whenever I see a nest. I give myself one point. I always win that game. So I've just stumbled upon a little flock of long-tailed tits. So um, I'm going to get my big camera out now. <laughs> so not only in the time that I got my lens onto the body, put it out now. Um, They've moved over to another tree. <laughs> I can see them now, but a little bit far for the camera to get. But I know if I go and move over there to get them, they're going to move back here. <laughs> so I'm just going to sit here for a while. I also saw a tree creeper over there somewhere as well. So yeah, I'm just going to sit. So uh, the long tail tits, they, they let me down and <laughs> they flew off completely. Um, but it was quite nice, I just sat there for 20 minutes or so. Um, the thing with having a big, oh I've just spotted some ducks. Um, yeah, the thing with having a really big camera is if you're just sitting somewhere, generally anyone passing by will stop and talk to you about wildlife. And I really, really like that. So yeah, this guy just stopped and we had a little chat about life and he told me his story I told him a little bit about me and yeah it was really nice actually so um but yeah I've decided to keep the big lens on my camera um and just if there's any other wildlife around hopefully I'll get some I've just seen these ducks though so I'm gonna have to get a picture of those
So that last bit of woodland was absolutely beautiful. Like so many birds. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, heading up to where the ponds are. Um, to be honest with you, I can't actually remember exactly where they are, so hopefully I don't get lost. <laughs> I'm not sure if you were able to read that, I've got my medium sized camera lens, it's still in my rucksack from before, so um, so basically what he was saying is this stone here is basically where people traded cattle back in the day, um, apparently they put the money on the top and made the deals. quite a nice time with the ducks there. <laughs> um, they're so shiny, some of the drakes. Like, looking really good. Um, but I did just overhear um, the people that were there, they were saying that they've actually found cases of bird flu on this pond here. Um, so with having the ducks at home, like, I already have, like, pretty good biosecurity for them. Um, yeah, I'm not going to walk around here I'm actually just gonna leave and go into the village um because I, I just really want to minimize the risk of infection but I mean yeah <laughs> so I've just had a little look at the map um so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna head up what I think is the main street of the village we'll look at that and then on the other side of the village um that strange google thing that I saw um and into the castle.
Those of you who do any kind of long distance walking are probably quite familiar with Harvest Maps. Um, back there was the shop. Um, I only recently found out that they're based here. Um, I feel like that can be quite a dangerous game. <laughs> um, I resisted the urge to go in this time. But I think uh, if I need some inspiration for some long distance walks, I think I might find myself in that shop buying maps. So I'm just heading up to where I saw that mound thing on Google. Um, there's been quite a lot of information boards around doing and there's nothing about what it might be. So I think it's probably nothing where it's where a farmer feeds his cows or something. But we've got to check out these things. <laughs> um, but yeah, the castle's out here this way as well. So I'm just going to wander to the castle in a moment. Oh, it's nice out here though. So you can see there where it's all muddy, I think that's where a farmer is feeding his cows or something but I can't see because that tree's in the way but it is like elevated a little bit, it's a bit odd, um, yeah don't know what it is, um, I'm at a gate I don't really feel like walking through a farmer's field just to go and look but I feel like the way it is fenced as well. Like, I think it must have been something. Just don't know what. And like I said, there's no signs. Like, there's quite a lot of history here, I think. Um, and the information signs like, around the village um, kind of points out all the interesting things. Um, and there's nothing about this, so... Yeah, don't know what it is. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to head back to the castle now. Actually quite a bit bigger than I thought. I think you have to pay to go in. Um, last time I checked it was like a fiver or something, not too bad. Um, it's probably gone up quite a bit since then, I mean that was like five years ago I looked at it so. Um, but yeah, I think I might actually go have a little day out inside at some point. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to like walk around, loop around and then back along the river back to my van. So I'm just heading back to the van now, like it's literally just up ahead. Um, yeah, I uh, enjoyed this walk actually. Um, I like to do it in the summer as well, I think. Um, nice little village. Uh, I didn't show it, but there's uh, a pub and some cafes, one cafe. Um, so I think, kind of think like, I would definitely recommend it as a stop off point if you're heading up to the Highlands. 
Um, I've definitely seen some more paths that I'd like to explore. Um, I know looking at the map, like you can walk a long distance from here as well. Um, so I think I'll do some more walks over the summer here. Um, I saw there was like a Roman fort and some old mill as well, which I haven't got a chance to go and see today. Um, so yeah, a lot to do here. Very nice little village. Um, so yeah, that's me. I'm just going to end the video here. So thanks again for watching. Um, if you like to give it a thumbs up because that really helps the algorithm. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. I nearly forgot. It's cheese and onion today. <laughs>